I'm Paul Husinga. We're here in Huntington Beach, California, Surf City, USA, for the 10th Annual Factory 5 Car Show. Now, what's really cool about Factory 5 owners is that every one of them has a lot of sweat and blood into their cars. It's not something you can just go out and buy. It's something you have to build. And this is really a party to celebrate the passion that goes into these cars. There's a lot to see, so let's get on it. One of my favorite parts of the Factory 5 Car Show is getting to see cars that are under construction. And I've got Roman and Vincent here. Tell me a little bit about this car. Well, I was inspired a couple of years ago when I visited this show. And I decided to order it and uh, make a son and dad project in the garage. And this year we are here. So you were inspired by coming to the show previously. Have you ever done a project like this before, basically building a car from the ground up? This is my first project. I've done motorcycles before, but car is the first one. Now, how much time do you have in this car so far? I put about seven months and a couple hours uh, every day. So I think uh, another six, seven months and we're going to be done. I'm planning to visit the uh, next show already on, on wheels. I noticed that you were talking earlier uh, about the oil pan on this. Did yeah. you have to do something custom to fit the power steering and everything in there? Uh, not really. It's easy, like plug and play. If you order this kit from Factory 5, it's not much alternation there. It's very easy to install it. All right, now I love asking this question. What on this car is your favorite detail so far? Engine. I really like the engine. Uh, this is a Mustang Ford uh, 302 small block engine, which is stroke to 347. Is this a car you're going to get your license in? Yes. Hope so. Yeah. Right on. I think we can all appreciate that. Hey, if you're a fan of automotive television, you're going to recognize who I've got here, Christy Lee. Tell me a little bit about what you've got going on right now as far as TV projects. Oh, well, I've got a ton going on besides this awesome event here today in beautiful Huntington Beach, California. Um, we are actually currently filming uh, season six of All Girls Garage right now. I've also got the Barrett Jackson live auctions that are also on Velocity as well. We just finished up with Palm Beach, Florida. Uh, we got the uh, June Northeast event coming up at the end of June. So just a lot going on and uh, it's summertime. So that means track season. I've had a chance to take a look around here and one of the questions that's come to my mind is if I was going to build one of these factory five cars, which one would I pick? Which one would be your choice? I'm personally a huge Mustang and Shelby fan. Um, so if I was going to go factory five kit car, that would be hands down my first choice. Carburetor or EFI? Oh, that's a tough one. Um, I think I'd have to go with fuel injection just because, you know, this is a chance to make a really awesome car that's really fast, performs really well. You know, you're going to put a brand new engine in it anyways. <laughs> Why would you carburate it? You just got to go with the EFI. So that would be my choice. I've grabbed Tony here and taken him away for just a minute from answering questions about these cars to ask about what it's like to work for Factory 5. Now this is the 10th anniversary of this show, right? It is. I mean, we do a lot of different shows. This is kind of a show that we've done in the past 10 years that gives back to the community. Kind of, we're on the other side of the world. We're not out where the nice weather is. So it's kind of nice getting everybody all riled up, getting about 120 cars out here to say thank you. Now, what does an average build take somebody to do? How many, how, from start to finish, how long does it usually take? Depending on the car, but most builds, 250 hours, you know, it's nothing crazy. I mean, I always tell these guys, it's a big boy erector set. You're not cutting, you're not welding. It's a lot of fun. Now, what's the craziest question you've ever had to answer? Oh, man, I've had a guy actually say to me the other day, um, you've told me you've recommended a transmission, and it was just an AOD, and it wasn't compatible with his carburetor. And that's what his builder told him. So that kind of shocked me. That was a good one. That was our little joke inside the office for a while. We've had guys that have never done anything to experts that'll do it. Some of our beta builders, they'll do it in a month. I mean, these guys are fast. You know, another really cool thing about these cars is that we see a lot of multi-generational things going on here. A lot of parents and kids working together on their cars. I always say it's like a family. It's a little community that gets together. You'll go on the forums and these guys will all be helping. Guys will do these projects with their daughters, you know, and it's cool. I mean, I built my car with my daughter. The bonding thing, there's so many different Cinderella stories of people that had illnesses and had built cars together just to get their the father and son to have something in their relationship and it's the car that bonds them together. You know, a lot of people worry about what the future of this hobby is. I think we're seeing it here today. 